to solve this problem, uh, it, we're trying to find where the firm would produce at a loss. Uh, we need to know the, the minimum point of both the average total cost and average variable cost curves because firms will produce as long as the price falls within that range. So the first thing we need to do is figure out um, our average variable cost curves to find our shutdown price. So we know that fixed costs are $10 because when we're producing zero, we still have $10 in costs. So if we're trying to figure out variable costs, we'd, we'd look here and for one, $16 in total costs, we subtract the 10, we've got $6 in variable costs for one, 10 for two, 12 for three, 14 for four, 15 for five, 17 for six, 20 for seven, 24 for eight, 29 for nine, 35 for 10. If we figure out the average variable cost, we take this number divided by the quantity. Uh, and if you do that, you're going to get 6, 5, 4, 3.5, 3, 2.83, 2.8, 6, 3, 3.2, and 3.5. So our average variable cost curves. Uh, shows us that the shutdown price is two dollars and eighty three cents. So every so the price for the answer to this has to be at least above two dollars and eighty three cents. Given that, that eliminates option A, it eliminates option B, and eliminates option E. We also need to know what the average total cost is for each of these. To do average total cost, we just take total cost divided by quantity. So uh, for one, we'd see average total cost is sixteen. For 2 is 20 divided by 2 is 10. If you keep doing the math, you get 7.3, 6, 5, 4.5, 4.3, 4 and a quarter, 4.3, and 4.5. So the minimum point of average total cost, which is our break even price, is 4 and a quarter. So the price has to fall between the shutdown price of $2.83 and $4.25. Option D would be operating at a profit, and so we're left with with option C as the only one where the firm would produce at, at a loss.